Now we're going to look at Carrier Centurion line of mid-range rooftops. These machines go from 2 through 25 tons. The 5 ton example that we're going to look at right now has got some very special options on it. This particular machine is equipped with Carrier's Energy X heat recovery wheel. Energy X heat recovery wheel mounted on the end of this particular downshot machine okay, contains a couple of energy absorbing desiccant wheels. This allows us to retrieve heat from the return air during the heating season and preheat the incoming air during very cold outdoor temperatures. Also, it allows us to recover and pretreat very hot air during the summer cooling season and pre-cool that air coming into the unit, which allows us to use greater amounts of outside air while still running this machine under normal operation saving us a little bit of energy, plus allowing greater operation of the machine through a much broader temperature range using much greater amounts of outside air. The Energy X wheel also has an economizer feature. Opposite the particular desiccant wheels is a set of remotely controlled dampers, so it does function as a full free air economizer in addition to the heat recovery features. Additionally, there is also a power exhaust function, so this covers three of the, of the, the most sought after outdoor air accessories in one as a unit option or a field installed accessory. The Carrier Centurion machines also use Carrier's Comfort Link uh, control system and located in the control box on this particular unit is a user interface allowing a technician to configure the machine, also allow them to retrieve any uh, faults or alerts or alarms that may have occurred during the system, looking at the entire unit. As I move a little further down the machine, access to the return air filters, whether they're two inch or four inch, is gained through another panel. And notice these particular panels are hinged with toolless entry, if you will. Above that is the blower section for our supply air fan, and this particular machine is a constant volume unit, meaning that the fan runs at one continuous fan speed. Also allows me access to the evaporator coil and my TXVs. Directly below that, because this is a 48 series unit, is the gas-fired heat section, with my igniter, my combustion wheel, and my heat exchangers directly below that. On the far end of the unit, my condenser coil. This is, in this particular unit, I've got a single condenser fan. As the machines get larger and larger capacity, there may be two, three, or as many as four different condenser fans, as well as multiple compressors. All of those are features of the Carrier Centurion rooftop units. We're looking at Carrier Centurion mid-range rooftop units. These are rooftop units in the 2 to 25 ton range, and specifically we're going to be looking at this 48 PG unit. Notice on this end of the machine, this machine is optioned with Carrier's Energy X, energy recovery system, if you will. Specifically, what an energy recovery system is, is it contains a desiccant wheel in here. What that desiccant wheel allows us to do is transfer not only temperature of the incoming air, in, in conjunction with the return air or outside air, but it also allows us to transfer humidity, being a desiccant wheel. So we can control the entering humidity under very hot, humid conditions. We also can retain humidity in the incoming air during the heating season when we're bringing in very low humidity outdoor air. Additionally, there is heat transfer so that it preheats the incoming air in the heating season and pre-cools the incoming air in the cooling season. In conjunction with this Energy X option, which can also be a field installed accessory, is a free air economizer. An actuator with a set of dampers outside allows us also to allow this particular thing to function as a free air economizer. Additionally, there is also power exhaust as part of this package, so it covers the three most important things an outdoor air accessory can offer in a packaged rooftop unit. As we move down this particular machine, being the Centurion machine, it uses Carrier's ComfortLink control system. Located in the control box is the interface scrolling marquee that a service technician would use to set up, configure the machine, as well as recover any faults or alarms that may have occurred during the operation of the unit. 
low voltage wiring connections for thermostats, indoor space temperature sensor, and indoor air quality also will be brought up in this particular portion of the machine along with line voltage power. Moving a little bit further down, we come to the return fan section as well as the filter section which is adaptable for both two or four inch filters. Lastly, moving further down the machine, we'll come to the fan section where I gain access to the supply fan in this particular machine being a single fan and motor on the larger units having multiple fans being driven by on a common shaft by a single motor. Directly below that, this being a 48 series machine, is the gas fired heat section. Gas valve, combustion air fan, igniter control package uh, are all part of that. This unit could also be configured as a 50 series unit using electric heat, either field installed or optioned from the factory, or perhaps as a cooling only machine with no heat in there. Lastly, at the far end of the machine is the condenser coil. This being a single circuit, one compressor unit has a single condenser fan. As the machine's growing capacity from two tons up through 25 tons, we'll have multiple compressors, up to three compressors in the unit, as well as up to four condenser fans controlling the various uh, refrigeration circuits within the unit. So this shows us that carriers mid-range four or five, excuse me, two to 25 ton Centurion rooftop units.